Uh, hello people, glorious people. This is going to be round two of a N95 mask shopping. I've got another mask on right now. I need to make sure it fits right. But um, we're going to give Sam's a break this time. We're going to go into our local Walmart super center see what they have now at this time a pandemic has been cleared uh, declared uh, been reports of shelves being cleared out so we are going to have to go in there and see if they have anything now I know Walmart gets trucks in I'm not sure what days but they're pretty consistent so hopefully they have stuff still in stock I don't think there's much of a panic in my community yet. But we do need to get a few more things. And um, I'll try to record as much as I can again and gauge the uh, public reaction. Now, just by pulling up <clears throat> in the parking lot, I did not see one person wearing a mask. So uh, we'll see if we see anybody wearing a mask. I'm kind of curious about that since this pandemic has been declared. Now, I understand, people, that um, this virus takes 2 to 14 days for incubation. That means that someone cannot show symptoms or may not show symptoms for 2 to 14 days until they start getting sick. And during that time, they could be running all over the place and spreading the disease. And your community leaders, all right, um, I think they're different in different areas of the country, but are you really going to trust them to give an accurate count of how, how many people have contracted the virus in your area? I mean, to keep panic down, they may tell you nobody has gotten the, the virus. You know to keep the I think that's irresponsible because they need to report the truth to keep the spread from um, growing but I'm sure there are some communities in the United States that have taken that action to tell people that there has been a case reported and there actually has so just keep that in mind and um, yeah let's get out there and uh, that was my better half, my dear, my, my sweetheart, wife. And um, I don't know if she's going in. She's wearing a mask. Are you going in? Mm. No. She's going to stay in the I'm truck. I'm already. Sinus. She has sinus problems, and she doesn't feel like wearing a mask, so she will stay in the truck. And um, that's why I'm being so protective, because of my family. You know, they're not, they do have sinus problems, and... Um, I know one of the first symptoms is that it does attack your sinuses, so we don't need to be bringing it home. And um, and going through that in my family. So, like I said before in a different video, if I'm out in public, I'm going to wear my mask. I don't care what people think. I'm going to try to prevent it, try to prevent from being sick as best I can, and to bring it, bringing anything home. Uh, to my family and one of the main reasons is that I'm all over the place you know I drive a truck and uh, I go to different communities all over the country and all over the state so for me not to uh, protect myself you know w would be irresponsible because I do so much traveling but yeah let's get in there and uh gauge some more reactions and let's do a mask a mask count is another reason we're here today and also get some more goods if we can we'll see all right all right people here we go we're quite a ways from the entrance so i'll get back to you
a lot of the cleaning products are vanishing. Now, we have to remember that China isn't sending any containers over. Neither are a lot of other countries, so the containers that are off the coast that have got unloaded, we're seeing the last parts of that delivered. So, you gotta keep that in mind. cleaning products wiped out this may not be so much of a uh, buying a panicking issue more than a restocking issue because they don't have the products yep pretty much cleared out of the fever reducer medicine they still have some left but not much Stuff right here it's good stuff you know I didn't show you guys last time I spent nearly $400 at Sam's the other day last week I didn't show you my haul but this time I'll show you my haul and uh, keep you guys in on what I'm doing update on the mask count not one person I've seen so far has has a mask on all right not one person has a mask on and it's a pandemic couple was having a conversation a while ago when I passed by him and she was asking him well what is this and he's like oh it's like the flu it's no big deal <laughs> uh, couch what are they couch health officials so-called uh, I believe this is the water aisle There's some tea left if you want some. And that's better than nothing. We do have cases of water. So we're not that bad off. But you better get what you can while you can. I'll get a couple of these. This is what I got so far. Eggs and uh, some medicine. The water out was cleared out. chicken is what I'm looking for. Uh, chicken.
One of the workers told me they're getting a truck in every day. So they are getting restocked. People are just cleaning them out as soon as they get restocked. So if you want to restock, find out when the trucks get here. And uh, which is probably the morning, early morning and get here early. If you want to get anything. All right, people, I'll show you my haul that I got. Got some wolf brand chili, some green tea, a roast, some beef stew, some chicken. They were out of whole chicken, so I had to get a hen. And just about everything's cleaned out. No pasta, no vegetables, no canned vegetables. Uh, hardly any meat. You know, there's some hamburger stuff. Uh, they said that the workers said that they are getting trucks in, but they're having a hard time keeping the shelf stocked. Now that could be one of two or three reasons. People are buying it all out or they're rationing the shipments, which I think is what's going on. They're rationing the shipments. So, uh, all the food doesn't go in one week. Plus, the shipments are rationed from overseas. So, probably everything we're getting now is the last stuff that's coming from overseas or, or, or locally produced here in the United States. And so they're having a hard time keeping up is my estimation on this. So, yeah, we'll check out and uh, see you guys in a minute. Hello, people. Not bad. Uh, couldn't get everything that we needed. So we're actually in Russell, New York. Mask update, mask rating update. Not one person was wearing a mask in there. Not one customer, not one employee. And there's a pandemic declared. What does that tell me about my community? It tells me they don't think that this pandemic is real. I guess they never studied history about, you know, the Spanish flu, the Black Plague. They, but, you know, the shelves are cleared out, which tells me they're more worried about the, the economic implications. But not the health implications. So... Anyways, I gotta put this stuff in the truck and um, yeah, but if you do want to get some groceries, you're gonna have to time it right to when the trucks come in. But I think they're being rash rationing. I think rationing is going on with the suppliers. All right, over and out.